Community Link, presented by Financial Center First Credit Union. Thank you for joining us for Community Link. I'm Caroline Mays. Creating awareness about ovarian cancer with the goal of increasing early detection is the mission of OVAR coming together. The Indiana-based organization also supports ovarian cancer survivors and caregivers. To tell us more is Peggy Bell. Thank you, Peggy, for joining us. You're very welcome. You're a survivor of ovarian cancer, or should I say a thriver. You have such a beautiful spirit about you. Tell us um, how long you've been a survivor. I've been a survivor since 2017. Okay, so for a few years here. Mm -hmm. And we don't hear much about ovarian cancer. How did you know? What are some of the symptoms that women should be aware of? Well, classic symptoms are bloating, feeling, feeling of fullness, um, urgency, uh, frequency, and abdominal pain. Okay. So OVAR Coming Together is an organization based right here in Indianapolis. Give us the story behind that organization. Yes, it was uh, started in 1996 by uh, Pam Farber. Um, Nancy Himes and Kay Benford. They started, they were three ladies that had ovarian cancer and felt like they, they need to do something to make people aware of it. So they started this organization and we've kind of just gone from there. So the organization is grown. What are some of the things that OVAR coming together does to help women and caregivers? Yeah, they uh, have a uh, we uh, provide support to survivors. I talk to different survivors if they want to. So sometimes there are different points, and I just give them support because the journal, the journey is personal, and just to tell them how I've gone through it, and just to talk and and listen. You're telling your story, and it really is beautiful yeah. that you are such a thriver in it. Why don't we hear more about ovarian cancer? Why do you think it's so silent? You know, that's a, that's always a question that I wanted to ask because it was the fifth leading cause of death in women and the 11th, 11th uh, most deadly cancers of women. So, you know, it's definitely out there, but I guess it's not as big as other cancers, but it is definitely de deadly, and early detection is the key. Early detection, absolutely. Exactly. So when someone gets ovarian cancer, like you did, mm -hmm. What are some of the treatments that take place? Well, I had surgery okay. uh, to remove my mass, and then I had uh, chemotherapy. I had six rounds of carboplatin and taxol. Wow. Those are chemotherapies. So I had those in 2017, and then my reoccurrence in 2021, I start that process all over again. Wow, wow. Well, we're so glad that you're here with us. And so you want people to learn more about ovarian cancer and you have some events coming up this month. Tell us about those events. Yes, we have our walk run that's going to be at Butler University on September 17th. And we also have Turn the Canal Teal down at the Indiana Historical Society building. And that's on Thursday, September 22nd. It's free and anybody can come. And I've actually been a part of that. I've had my picture taken with the mayor in 2018 as we turn the Canal Teal. So these are all things that we're trying to get out so people can be aware about ovarian cancer. Great. Well, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for telling your story so that other women will hopefully know the symptoms and get help if they... You're very uh, welcome. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you for joining us for this week's Community Link. To share this story or learn more, head to wishtv.com. We'll see you next week.